Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are constantly at war and face a crossroads in deciding their true identity, according to royal experts. Reflecting on the couple's six-year anniversary, Kenzie Schofield, host of Airs and Spares, didn't downplay the significance of the occasion, stating, I do think it's a big deal, and noted that the Sussexes have fostered an us-against-the-world dynamic in their relationship. She added, there's no doubt that they've struggled throughout the last six years. And we saw, even in the Netflix documentary, the constant strain it felt like these two were under, whether they're suing this person or that person, there were a lot of really sad, dark moments throughout that docu-series. In a discussion with fellow royal commentator Rupert Bell, Schofield pondered, when do they come up for a breath of fresh air? Because it does feel like they're constantly at war with someone. She questioned whether the ongoing battles were taking a toll on their union or fortifying it as she asked, is that stress on the relationship or does that continue to strengthen the relationship? Bell suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex need to leave their past grievances behind and focus on the future, the Express reports. He emphasized that they must draw a line under their former life, especially after stepping back from royal duties in January 2020. He said, they've actually got to now say, what are we? We are not a member of the royal family, we are a commercial entity. Let's be quite clear, that's what they are. Now, it may have a philanthropic bent to it in that they will be doing some good things through their foundations, but they are a commercially based couple now. He added the pair still go round as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, so what do they want to be? And I think that's what frustrates people. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. The royal commentator claims the couple want to control the narrative around their relationship within an inch of their lives, which was evident during their recent trip to Nigeria and other appearances. He said, and that's the point of them. They want to feel that they're in total control, and that was the ultimate reason why they wanted to leave the royal family. Because they didn't have the control, and it wasn't going to be their show. However, despite the ongoing tensions within the royal family, Prince Harry might still receive an important invitation to Balmoral this summer. Every August, members of the royal family traditionally gather at Balmoral Castle for a holiday away from their official duties, a practice that was dear to the late Queen Elizabeth II and is continued by King Charles III. Royal expert Ingrid Seward, speaking with the Mirror, expressed her belief that there is no doubt Harry, Meghan, and their children Archie and Lilibet will be invited to join this family retreat. She revealed to the publication, Harry and Meghan's security fears could well be a stumbling block to any kind of reunion with the royal family. But no doubt they have been invited to Balmoral this summer, 